Hey Toy fans, D21 Beast Rob here, back with another Marvel Legends review for you guys here today. We're taking a look at that brand new wave of X-Men figures in 2016. Yesterday we took a look at the brand new Marvel Legends Havoc figure. And if you missed that review, definitely check the link in the video description below. But today we are looking at Havoc's nephew, Cable. Now like we've seen with previous figures in this line, we've got the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Juggernaut emblem in the upper left. We've got that same X logo on the top of the packaging. We've got the Marvel Legends series logo at the top of the box. We've got the window box packaging that does house this figure inside as well as its numerous accessories. Followed by the X-Men logo and the figure's name, Cable. Flipping this package around, we've got the Marvel Legends series logo in the upper left. We've got a bio for Cable in the upper right. It reads, a lifelong soldier, Cable perfected his fighting prowess when a technological virus suppressed his natural psychic abilities. As we continue down the package, we've got a nice glamour shot of Cable. We've got that juggernaut build-a-figure emblem one more time, followed by a complete lineup of all the other figures available in this wave, all of which I've reviewed except for Wolverine and Deadpool so far. Let me know in the comments below which one you'd rather see next. And off to the left, we've got an image of the juggernaut build-a-figure fully assembled. Alright Toy fans, that's the packaging. Let's get this time-traveling hero out of the box and see what he's all about. Alright Toy fans, and here we have Nathan Christopher Summers out of the packaging. Of course, that was his name when he was originally introduced in Uncanny X-Men number 201 by Chris Claremont and Rick Leonardi. The same issue of X-Men where Cyclops and Storm famously battled for leadership of the X-Men, with Storm winning and Cyclops taking a hike. But it was in that issue that Cable was just a wee baby, and it wasn't actually until New Mutants number 86, after the Ascani son had returned from the future, though we didn't quite know that yet, where Cable got his first cameo at the hands of Louise Simonson and Rob Liefeld. He would then go on to completely revamp the New Mutants in issue number 87, and ultimately create the original X-Force. But enough with the history, some of you are probably looking at this Cable figure and going, what the heck is that costume? Well folks, it originally debuted in Avengers X Sanction, a crossover story featuring the X-Men and the Avengers from a few years back, with some amazing Ed McGinnis artwork, which this figure's likeness is drawn from. But of course, if you don't actually read comic books and only play the video games, you might actually recognize this Cable from Deadpool the Video Game by Activision. Sure, it's probably not the cable a lot of you guys were asking for. Most of you probably wanted a redo of that figure, but I do think it's pretty cool as far as a modern cable figure is concerned. Let's take a look at the detail up close. Now, I know it's a somewhat small detail, but I have to say I love the hair sculpt on this cable figure. He's got the nice sort of militaristic buzz cut on the sides, but then he's got an excellent sort of spiky hairstyle coming forward. Actually, kind of looks like my hair at times. And then on the face, he's got a nice sculpted detail for the scar. I love the way that the actual techno-organic virus looks on this side, and he's got a nice dry brushing over all that detail. There's a, a little bit of yellow paint inside the eye there with some red outlining, which is a nice touch. Blue eye on this side. And then coming down the figure, we have more of that sculpted detail for the techno-organic virus. And again, more sort of dry brushing on the figure. It continues down the arm and straight to the hand. A really nice look for this figure. But it doesn't stop there. He's got an excellent sort of militaristic vest. Made up militaristic vest, I suppose, with a lot of detail. There's even some bullet holes that have been sculpted into it. And look at all the detail inside the shoulders and the sort of chainmail mesh inside. Really, Hasbro just did a great job sculpting the upper torso of this figure. On the other arm here, instead of having these sort of uh, slotted segments like we have on his techno-organic arm, we just have a standard muscular arm. I do think it's reused, but I can't quite place it. But the actual X tattoo has been placed nicely. Uh, the hands look great. Coming down the rest of this figure, we do have some reused pieces from the Nuke figure from earlier this year. But then we've got some freshly sculpted shin guards on this cable that nicely match his upper torso armor. And they've even put some bullet holes in those. Or I guess they're probably just dents. But overall, I'm really happy with the sculpting and paint detail on this figure. Oh, and I should mention that my cable figure has a bit of a molding error on his toe, even kind of extends to the platform of his shoe. Now, it could just be my cable that has that issue. Your mileage may vary, but I wanted to point it out. Accessory-wise, Cable comes with everything that you see here. He has the Juggernaut crotch piece, I guess you could say. Uh, it's worth noting that the belt is a separate piece, so when you pull it out of the packaging, just be mindful of that so the belt doesn't go flying when you pull it out. But he's also got these two sets of guns. The first one I really like. This is a new gun that I don't recognize. It's molded in sort of a green, well, let's call it green gunmetal. It's got some nice sculpted detail on it. There is a bit of marbleization in the plastic, but that doesn't bother me a whole lot. This gun fits the best in his hand of the two, and we'll look at that closer in detail in just a second. The other gun that he has is this long rifled weapon that looks like a futuristic cable gun, honestly. I think this first appeared with the uh, Marvel Legends Forge Wolverine 2 pack, but I recognize it mostly as the gun that came packed in with the Terax Wave Hope Summers figure. Remember when she was in comics, guys? Side note, if any of you comic readers actually know where Hope or the Five Lights are at this point, please let me know because I'm kind of confused about what happened to them. But since Hope came with that weapon, it does make sense that Cable would come with it too. Now, unlike Hope, 
Cable actually has a uh, bullet belt that actually slides into the bottom of that gun. I didn't even notice that hole on the bottom of the weapon, and I've had that Hope figure for years. I'm guessing this bullet belt originally came with Forge, but it's been painted nicely here with some gold tips on the bullets, and as you saw, it just slides nicely in, just like a magazine on a gun should or a belt should, and it uh, stays pretty nicely even when you have it posed in Cable's hands. Now let's talk about getting the guns into Cable's hands. As cool as this Cable figure looks, and as cool as his weapons look, I do feel like the guns were a bit of an afterthought. Uh, you can get this gun in his hand, this is the longer one. It kind of fits into the trigger guard, but it really doesn't seem like it was designed for that hand. The actual handle runs uh, almost perpendicular to the weapon, and Cable's hand is kind of sculpted in a way that requires a more angled weapon. So I have trouble getting the finger in the trigger guard, and given the positioning of his arms, it's just hard to get him holding this gun two-handed effectively. The other gun that I actually like better for this figure has a similar issue. It's hard to get the finger into the trigger guard, but you can at least get it into his hand his left hand, or even his right hand, but you do have to work it a little bit. But once you've got it in there, I think you can get some pretty cool action shots out of it. Articulation-wise, this cable figure is no slouch. His head will bend down this far, it'll bend back that far. There's a disc hinge in the neck, which is nice. Rotates all the way around. His shoulder rotates all the way around. He has a bicep that'll bend out that far. Rotates, double jointed elbow. Wrist rotates around, bends back not so much, and down a little bit better. He's got a uh, diaphragm joint that's kind of hidden in his body armor there that rotates all the way around. He's got a full waist rotation. Legs will move forward very far. They'll move back pretty decently. Out for the body, not as decently. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. And he's got a foot that'll kind of move forward. It's a little bit hindered by the shin guard. Move back very nicely. And he's got one of those great Hasbro ankle pivots, which isn't actually obstructed that badly with his leg armor. Well, if we bring in a tape measure, we can see that Cable does stand at right around seven and a quarter inches tall, so this guy is a beast. For some size comparison, here he is compared to his uncle Havoc, and as you can see, Havoc on the Bucky Cat mold is kind of dwarfed in size by this Cable figure. Here he is compared to his protege Hope Summers, and I've got to say, the size discrepancy is mostly good. I do feel like Hope's just a little bit tall. Here he is compared to the old Toy Biz Marvel Legends Cable figure, and I've got to say, guys, I'm really sorry, but that figure's starting to show its age. I do think I'm leaning more towards this cable figure these days. And finally, here he is compared to the 6-inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite Series Wolverine. Alright, Toy fans, well that's my review of the Marvel Legends Juggernaut Build-A-Figure Wave X-Men Series Cable Figure released by Hasbro in 2016. Overall, if you couldn't tell by now, I'm going to give this cable a must-buy. It's an excellently sculpted figure with wonderful paint applications, and if you're one of those longtime collectors out there who has the original Toy Biz Cable figure, it's time for an upgrade. Well, thanks for watching this review, Toy Fans. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys like what you saw here, do me a big favor and give this video a big thumbs up. In the meantime, you can always keep up with me on Twitter and Instagram at D21Beast, and I'll see you guys next time.